Hello everybody, welcome back to Sarah Plays Gorok in Immortal Empires. And I'm trying to get all my armies over here to Cathay because I thought I was just going to have to deal with Snitch and Lokir, but no, it appears the Chaos Dwarves got bored north of the Bastion and have begun their descent south. Descent south? I don't know. So I've got Gorok over here, I've got some of my big names, but they've also got a bajillion armies because nobody has kept Zatan in check or Kolek and they're kind of tag team in similar to what Snitch and Loki were doing. So I've traded two annoying enemies for two more annoying enemies, which is just delightful. So, all right, Nakai is just gonna have to stay here. I could have Nakai come in from this direction, but let's be honest, Nakai's army is not built to be good at doing anything, so. Uh, yeah. Um, I am gonna have to eventually send somebody over there, I think, to assist. Come from the the west. Akarek the Crow is running away from me. He's just going to continue to run away from me. Yeah, can't get there. Oxyadol needs these Rupertactyls to be better. Uh, Tic-tac-toe is in a good spot, so I wonder if I can take this fort with both those armies there. A crude attempt to... Pyrrhic victory, but I don't lose anybody, and I take three and one, so... I'm gonna take that and just replenish slowly. Very slowly. I wonder how the auto resolve would be if I just had full, like. Oh, this scared me. I'm like, tic tac toe didn't die. It's just the game's bugged. Oh, my heart stopped. If I just had full ripper dactyls, just tic tac toe and ripper dactyls, kind of like what I have with Nikai. I mean, I don't think it would be good, but like, it would be funny. Death from above. Okay, Prakeshto's still going to Middenstag. I don't know what Franz is doing. Uh, Mazda Mundi can take Wisemund. I mean, I could take Middenstag. If he takes Middenstag for me, Franz, so help me, boy. You wouldn't be where you are without me. You would have been wiped out because you had no way to recruit armies. I threw you a bone. This poor guy's gonna have no army by the time he gets over to that sea lane. <laughs> Alright, well, at least. Okay, he's replenishing a little bit. I just have to, like, periodically put him somewhere where he can replenish. This is going to suck. I shouldn't have left him in this. Well, I didn't have a choice because I took the settlement, so. I think I'm just going to have to bid adieu to Hextalk. Because it says close defeat. Oops. I could try to fight it. But he's got a pretty beefy army. Oh, he got the Ice Force Legion? How did he get that so fast? Oh, it was the other guys that had it. They shouldn't be able to get the same stinking thing. Um, well, Krokgar, I'm going to send over. How long is it going to take to get to here? So one, two, three, four. And we'll see if he gets ambushed along the way. Snitch and Loki are trying to do some last ditch stuff over here. Let's see. So that's just the one lady. Skaven slaves, not scared. Snitch and yeah, not scared. That army that army is 
that army would be interesting against me. Oh, Glorub is just... Okay. So in that case, I may be able to bring Gorak over here. Oh, he's still ambushing, which is probably fine, but... You've moved, you've moved. You're staying put for now, and Akai is... I think everybody has done stuff. Oh, I didn't need to do that, but I'll just put him on auto level up. Tenowin. Okay, cool. Put some life into this place. Is this money? Oh, that's some decent money. I'll put that in there. Thank you. And I'll do growth, just because I hope to take Norden. Where's Norden? All the way up there? Yeah, we'll get we'll get to Norden. So Fort Jakova has no garrison? <sighs> guys, 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 guys. I'm gonna take that out and I'll put a garrison in. Garrisons all around. Garrisons till we're blue in the face. Dyes are less of a priority item as putting buildings to get Asaurus boys. Wiseman Garrison Growth. <laughs> and poor Zanshi. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't repair it because I'm being sieged. Unless he wants to just, like, drop the siege for whatever reason. I won't fight him if he decides to do that. Are you ready? Ready? So many alliances wanted... Orion is so Protector. weird. Is I don't understand why Orion hates me. Yes. He should... See, he really does not like a lot of those people. But, like, look at all the people that we have mutual enemies for. So... I don't know, it's so strange. Garbage! Oh yeah, no, I can't fight both armies that are reinforcing. I'm sorry, Hextalk. He'll be back, I think. I should have fought it just to see if I could do more damage, but... That's a big battle, man. That's a big battle, and they just sacked in all that money. Torox is back. Ugh. Oops, I thought I pushed the button. I was just thinking, like, Imric would be easy to take out, but I looked at his military alliance he's got with the dwarves, so if I declare war on him, like, say all of the bad people are taken out, I'm looking at, like, the good ones, trying to pick off which ones, declaring war on him would put me bad terms with the dwarves, which is opening up a floodgate of issues. Are you stuck, Lokir? The other thing is, I don't think I can wipe out Lokir until I take out all of his black arcs, which is going to be such a nightmare. I'm going to have like 60 armies in the ocean just trying to hunt down his stupid black arcs while they evade me. Close victory. Wow. <laughs> I don't... I don't know if I could have done that on my own. Torax got 225 kills. I don't know why he tried that. So far, everybody has stopped asking me for alliances, like, in the same turn. Who killed my skink oracle? Oh, never mind. That's <laughs> that's a bad look for you, Ezga. Uh. <laughs> All right, Hextalk will be back.
don't think that they belong to the Slaughterhorn tribe. Ooh, armor for Croxigores. That's good. Now Nakai's got a little bit more armor in his army. Okay, just got this one last line to do. Good grief. I don't know why I'm going to build that up. It's probably not worth it. Krokgar is less of a... Oh, I was going to go all the way around and down? Well, that's probably not the right way to have gone about doing that. First deal with Lokir. Also deal with Snitch. Then worry about Zatan. Ruar, come up here and take bamboo crossing. I probably should start building another army for Hex Talk when he comes back. Because he will be back. Crags per as a gore. of Makas. I wonder if Lothar would. Decisive victory with low casualties. See, I'm tempted to fight it because it's been a while since I've fought a battle with Gorok, but I won't jinx myself by having worse odds. Not worse odds, but like doing worse on the map. I'm surprised that. It's only a matter of time before I'm gonna have to go to war with Kolek. Any of these turns, he'll probably declare war on me, honestly. Felish! I'll have you come somewhere. Go to Hanyu port for now. Oh, Nakai, one more turn and then you'll be fine. You've got so much armor now. Alright, Gila, you're about to do two turns of attrition. Rex Talon. Oh no, we got the plague. Is this Oh, it's not the attrition plague. Good. Alright, Oxiatl. It's four smart. I could get to him. I could do it. Oh, I pushed the R button. Didn't mean to do that. Oh man. We're just things are just picking up so fast now. It's exciting. The scary. And taking attrition. I'm gonna need to get somewhere. I'll stick that there for now. Um, if I could have him take out... Stop it, I don't... I should have done this, because... I forgot how beat up Oxyadal was. I should have let him... Replenish before I did that. Oops. Oops, oops. Look, look. Who's at war with Vanaheimling? Let's, let's see. You're well. Lewin, Durthu, Reikland, and Alariel. So Alariel, sixteen. Of the undying forest. Sixteen, nineteen, twenty-seven, and. 11. By the light of so the if he's 11, she was what, 16? Yeah, I wonder if he... You ask for a boon. You Speak, ask. And I will see if it is within my power to oh, give. I guess I'll have to go to war with Bellacor. 13k? You got it, bro. You got it, bro. I'll help you out. And go after Norden. 
want that to stop going fast. I keep pushing. I think the R button is the one I want. So Carl Franz wants to go after the black pit. I should make Franz earn his keep, but again, this probably wouldn't be fun to watch. Me just sit there while Franz shows up and fights the battle, so I'll spare you that, even though I think it's funny. It's because I'm a child. I do stuff like this with Jason, he gets so annoyed because he's like, it's just a waste of time. I'm like, yeah, well, I think it's fun, so take that. All right, I know there's one army I haven't moved yet. Well, I know there's other armies I haven't moved, but there's definitely the one that's by Mazdamundi. Oh, poor Oxyadol. Oh, poor Tic-Tac-Toe. Tenowin's moved. Prakeshto, you're the one. You're the winner. You still can't get to Middenstag. Oy vey. Okay, Krukar, you leveled up, you handsome lizard you um kill the dwarfs yes chaos dwarfs okay that would have been really bad if i chose the dwarfs and meant the chaos dwarfs they are two separate things apparently and nakai leveled up too look at you go i'll just beef up your army for now you can be weak you can just sit back and watch buddy why not growth in here. Get that up faster. I'm probably gonna have to put something else. Well, I've got five turns. I can hold out for five turns. It's really annoyed that, like, Mootland only goes up to tier 3 for me. That's kind of annoying. Sartos has taken its sweet time. Oh, actually no, it's just I've probably forgotten to put buildings there. Cuz I run out of money. Talabekland. It is weird being in the Empire Theater after having played the Changeling. It's a lot different. Stuff that happened in my campaign with Jason for Shadows of Change, I really wish had happened here. Like, like Cathay actually being a dominant force over in their area, not letting Lokir and Snicht walk all over them. Marathi being weak. But... On the other hand, if Cathay had been really strong, I wouldn't have been able to pick up as much territory over there as I have because we probably would have been like on okay terms and I would have felt guilty and they would have gotten mad. So by having more enemies, I guess it does mean that I can take more territory without having to go to war with them right away. Who knows? Maybe they would have declared war on me. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. So annoyed by how the AI does stuff. Okay. Oh, I forgot about you at Hoakonkwa. Oops. Well, at least you're doing what I wanted you to do. I should start scoping out my allies. And they're not really my allies, but like scoping out the good guys. I probably could take out the islands of those isolationist high elves without much repercussion. I don't know if they have many alliances. Maybe with Teclas, which could 
cause issues. Is this a urinologist? You want a defensive alliance? No! Orion's really not doing great, so he really doesn't have any reason to be mad at me. I'm not the one that's currently fighting him. Although he is mad because I'm semi-friends with the ones that are fighting him, but he'll have to get over it. I need to check on Nagarond again. It's been a while. Nagarond and Sigvald, now that they're best friends. Yurik victory. Well, that worked out for me, didn't it? I can take your garrison and your army and not lose any of my army, so I'll do that. Holy, the salamander is basically dead. Like, you can't get any closer to death without being dead. And watch the game is going to be like, oh, we told you that it wasn't dead, but it actually is dead, so. Okay. Interesting. So, Huikakwa may as well have you get this fell cargo. Pick up some of this treasure on your way. It would have been better if he had gotten some item that made him immune to storm or uh, sea attrition, but that would have been too easy. I also did say I was going to. Oh, yuck. I'll just siege that. I did say I was going to start building up an army for Hextalk, and I forgot. So, I may just wait. Can I take Colin and the Bridge of Heaven? The Bridge of Heaven has, like, no garrison, so I feel like I can. Oh, my nose is just so bad. Colin! Eric victory, but I don't lose any units. See, if I were to fight this on the battle map, I feel like... Oh, I know what map this is. They probably would get me with their, their armor-piercing missiles. This is probably dumb because now I'm super weak with this army and they're all going to converge on me at once. At least this is good. This is good climate for me, so I'm replenishing quite quickly. And I've got this guy that I could bring in force march over here. I'm not switching out units. I don't want to switch out units. I think it's going to make me ask. Yeah, I don't wish to do that. I, I I just wanted you to be close by for moral support. We're going into the dark lands. The chaos dwarves. I'm going to put you guys into full steam ahead. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right, Nakai, you're pretty much good to go, aren't you? Aren't you? Brave the chaos waste. Take some attrition. All right, Gila. Right. Next is Roxtalon. So we got Wolfric, not well, not Wolfric that you are thinking of. A different Wolfric who's probably going to take the frozen landing with his band of merry men. So I'll have to look at that. Crackadrak. Who's this? Throg. Throg still around? How many territories does Throg have? 
Oh, you got eight territories? You're better off than I thought. I'll hold off on declaring war on you for the time being. Alright, Ox Seattle. You rest up with tic-tac-toe and then it's back to work for you. Take slug scum. Making lots of money. It's probably, I apologize, this this late game stuff is probably really boring for you guys to watch. But I really do want to just keep going with this campaign. Jason and I have been talking about other things that I can do. And I've thought about waiting until I've done, like, was done with Gorok. But maybe I can do it in tandem just to have something new and exciting out there for people to watch. So one of the thoughts that I had, and we talked about this on one of the streams we did for the Shadows of Change, is we talked about, like, having me play a faction that he chooses on the difficulty that he chooses with maybe mods that he chooses playing through the first 75 turns and putting the end game crisis to hit at turn 60 so that I experience the end game crisis but I'm not going like super late game with the faction I get like maybe mid tier maybe although I'm a pretty slow player so maybe I wouldn't get quite that far but um that way I can experiment with more factions and maybe play some that you guys have suggested that I just haven't gotten around to play like Bretonia um, and Jason said there's a good Bretonia mod so that could be an option um, so I don't know I I like that idea and then he also told me that if I do something like that I need to do a tier list of the factions I play which I'm not good with tier lists so I don't know how that would go over I feel like I don't choose objectively. I choose based on um, just like my thoughts on the faction. So like, oh, I like this faction because this guy is attractive or something. It's not as petty as that, but like, you know, it's not, it's not for good reasons probably. It's probably like, oh, I, this model looks cool. So I think this faction is cooler than this one. And oh, Festus is at the bottom because he smells like... I don't know, stuff like that. <laughs> so that's that's my only thing is I don't know if I would be able to be objective with it. But maybe people don't care. Maybe that's what people would want to see. Is what my thought of each faction is. In my purely unbiased opinion. Ooh, that's a fancy port. Erengrad Harbor. Oh, it's a special port. That's why. Sterland. Oh, I still can't get there. Blasted Wastes. The Skull Road. I love the names in this game. They're really cool. Cool names. And then you've got the Turtle Isles. Not quite as cool. Jade River Delta. Really getting down there. Sorry, Hex Talk, but you're not going to get your army because I'm going to have no money. Okay. Commandment. Gotta get that web all happy. Wow, there were way more of these than I thought. All these single entity places, that's why. Not single entity, but like, you know what I mean. Single settlement. Alright, so we've got... Nagaron's still a thing. Sigvald's still a thing. Uh, Katep is still a thing, which I just don't understand because Tyrion is at war with Katep. How is he still alive? I own pretty much all of Lestria. 
these guys all right let's look at let's look at some potentials for later uh so high elves we've got the have i not met these guys yet oh I have... yes i have where do they show up at why aren't they in this list I've seen them. Why are they not in my list of high elves? But anyway. Citadel of Dusk. Speak. They don't have any alliances with anybody, so I could easily wipe them out. I feel bad because they're like my very first ally and my only ally, so my reliability would actually tank. I would become very low reliability, but oh well. Um... Yeah, but pretty much everybody no else glory. has alliances with the rest of the world. So, I mean, we've got a ways to think about this. We've got some time. But just trying to think ahead. I would love to take out Teclis because I want all these territories that he essentially took from me. Rather, some of them I took from him. But, uh, yeah, I think... I think I'm gonna... That's gonna be my last one for this. Oh, I just realized I'm making 40k a turn, so that's... Not bad. You know, Altharian, I'm hurt that I'm not your number one threat. I'm a wild card, baby. You don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh. Nice try. But I'll I'll be taking that, thank you. Alright, Eshin. You win this round, Snicked. Okay, you win this round also, Snicked. But once I get there, you mark my words, you'll be dead. And when I finally wipe out Snicked and Lokir, I should throw myself a party because it's been 200 freaking turns. Not really, but it's been a really long time that I've been at war with him and have not been able to... Um take them out. It's been super annoying. Okay. All right. Carl Franz. All right. Well, we're we're still doing all right. They're they've got a big like peninsula here in in between my stuff but I've got armies that are coming it's just a matter of getting them there and then somehow taking on all 5,000 of these black arcs to get rid of Loki here <sighs> good times but anyway that's gonna be it for this one everybody I hope you enjoyed it check out some of my streams that I have randomly when I feel like streaming and let me know your thoughts on this campaign and other ideas for stuff that you want to see me play in the future and I hope that you guys will come back and see me in the next one.